שלום to ערוץ 7, Israel National News uh, broadcast uh, viewers uh, from here, from uh, Yerushalayim. Uh, my name is Arya King and I'm a uh, city councillor of uh, Jerusalem municipality. And we are here standing in a beautiful place in central of Jerusalem, unfortunately in the east side of the Green, light, green Line. It's called Shimon HaTzadik. The Arab called the place Sheikh Jarrah. And why are we here today? We, I want you to see something that is disturbing me a lot at the last few years, and especially for the last 24 hours, after I, after I heard and I read everywhere that Benjamin Netanyahu, our prime minister, is going to allow Jews to build in uh, East Jerusalem. So I'm, I'm here to say that we are already fed up with his promises, we are already heard a lot of them, and he never kept his promise. And here, this is a few examples where we are standing now. Look, you see the Olive Tree Hotel and the, all this new development. This is for 20 years ago, was built. It belonged to Jews. You see these two buildings, these two new buildings, belong to Arabs that asked for a building permit at the year 2012 five years ago, and these two buildings are already occupied with Arab tenants inside. In the right side, you see a new building that is now under construction. It's going to be open in another six months. This is a government offices, Israeli government offices, right here at the border on the Green Line. It's in the eastern side, but just on the border, 45 meters from the light train line here of Jerusalem. And what do we have right in the middle between the two Arab buildings and the government offices and the old Jewish hotel? We have these three plots belong to Jewish family that at the year 2011, 2011, I'm talking about six years ago, more than six years ago, they asked for a building permit. And unfortunately, for over, over five years already, this building plan is freezed because the decision that was given by the Prime Minister office to the, to the District Planning Committee. Now, if you think this is the only plan, no, this, we have unfortunately several of Jewish plans in East Jerusalem that are freezed. Now, yesterday we heard and we read everywhere that Benjamin Netanyahu, our Prime Minister, is going to allow Jews to build. So let's check if he's really serious about it this time. I think he's not. He never kept his word. He promised us so many things, and he never fulfilled what he promised us. And this is another property. property. Look, a beautiful Arab new development. Everything is legal. And right here behind of us, you see this area. All of that belonged to Jews that they asked five years ago for building permit, and again, their plan is freeze. And I didn't hear from the architect that nobody called him and told him that he can continue planning and building the land, building the property. Now look, as a city councillor, I received yesterday the agenda of the local planning committee of next week. We have here, look, we have here 26 plans, 26 plans for, two, for next week. Not even one of them is talking about a new development in Gilo or in Pisgat Ze'ev, in Ramot or in Ar uh, Choma, Chomat Shmuel. Nothing is changed. So when we read and we hear about Benjamin Netanyahu promises that the freeze is over, I'm, I think that everyone needs to take it is in, the same, in, the, in, the, in the right uh, perspective. And to remember, we're talking about Benjamin Netanyahu that promised us so many times, so many things, and he never kept his word. So I, I wish that I will be able to bless him that he is allowing Jews to build like the law is allowing them. But until I will not see the buggers, the tractors, the cranes, here 
and in other areas that he freezed their plans, I will not bless him. And I think that uh, also you, as a uh, you know, uh, viewers and supporters of uh, the Jewish nation in Jerusalem and Israel, need to take all of this news in the right, uh, uh, in the right way, because it's uh, maybe, again, one of the fake news that Bibi Netanyahu likes to uh, take out and uh, to make us believe that he is really want to see Jerusalem being united, but really, if you're asking me, is promoting the division, the division of Jerusalem, to split Jerusalem, to divide the city to two cities, to two nations, unfortunately.